Historically, more than 5,000 fish swam up this small creek to spawn every year, and now we're down to about 230 pairs. So the, the coho salmon, as they spawn, they come from Tamales Bay and swim upstream in Lagunitas Creek. And we're located right about here, where this project is, this Lagunitas Creek floodplain restoration project. We are in the former ghost town of Tokoloma. When they built Sir Francis Drake Boulevard, they just pushed all the fill into the floodplain and buried it. And so we have pulled out 11,000 cubic yards of fill or 20 million pounds of soil out of here to recreate the floodplains that are critical for the survival of coho salmon. We have a volunteer-based nursery here at Spawn and we're growing more than 100 different species of native plants that we use in our restoration projects. We need to grow plants in order to revegetate creek corridors after we put in new side stream channels in order to hold the slopes down. But it's also important to have vegetated creek corridors everywhere so that we can prevent sedimentation from running off into the water. And we want to keep water clean. We want to reduce flooding. And vegetation helps to fulfill a lot of important roles in reducing pollutants to the creeks. The critical time for the survival and recovery of the species are the baby salmon when they hatch. So when they hatch, they're only one and a quarter inches long. And they must live in this little stream here for a year and a half before they go back out to the ocean. But these baby fish have to be able to survive a winter here. This lazy creek right here turns into a roaring river in the winter. So historically, they moved into floodplains. Um, but we've damaged and destroyed the floodplain. So this project here is reopening the floodplain so the baby fish have a place to go during those heavy storms so they don't just get washed downstream and are killed. This is the type of work that we want to see um, on National Park Service lands where we're trying to maintain and restore uh, threatened and endangered species. In this case, we have coho salmon and steelhead trout in the watershed. All of these willow stakes were collected within the project area during implementation, which is a real standard practice for a restoration project like this. But this design here is, is specific for the endangered California freshwater shrimp and also, of course, benefits the coho salmon and steelhead trout in the watershed. Insects are really the bottom of the food chain or a massive part of the bottom of the food chain. Maintaining the health of the stream is essential to maintaining the health of every other life form that lives in the stream. Our mission is to mobilize other people to help us do this work. And sometimes that means uh, working with us, planting plants, uh, going on creek walks with us in the winter to look for fish and counting nests and counting fish. Uh, so we're really a, a comprehensive organization, but the work that we do is driven by volunteers and grassroots efforts. It's incredible to have all these volunteers out here today working. We've got high school kids, we've got middle school kids, we've got adults, and it's just inspiring to have all these people out here uh, helping to make the earth a better place.